Now, as usual, first thing I'm going to do is override, override default units. Make sure that we're in inches. Okay. Now, as usual, this is static stress with linear material models. I'm going to call mine cantilever uh, 2D. And the geometry on this will be very simple. Now, recall if you're working with 2D elements, you want to uh, make sure you're working in the YZ plane. And let's go ahead and draw our uh, draw our line starting at coordinates zero zero. And I'm going to use relative. And let's give this beam a length of twelve inches. And let's give it a height of about uh, one inch. And get this geometry set up. Alright, so that's it for my beam geometry. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit more so I can see it better. Okay, so our next step is to establish element type. I'm going to use 2D. And for element definition, I'm going to go with Mm, let's stick with plane stress on this one and let's give it a thickness of about know, half an inch leave everything else as it is and just select a material uh, let's let's keep it simple and use say aluminum 1050 h14 Our next step will be to actually produce a mesh. So what I'm going to do is go down here. Notice where I've got the cursor. I've selected the individual construction elements that make up our model. I right click on that. Go to create 2D mesh. Uh, let's use quadrilateral elements. That's what's standardly used for this type of a problem. So we'll just leave everything as is. Use quadrilateral elements and it should be generating our mesh at this time alright now we need to apply our boundary conditions I'm going to select uh, edge I'm going to select this edge here right click add uh, edge boundary condition and let's make it fixed Okay, then I'm going to select the other edge here, right click, add, we're going to do a edge force, and let's have a downward force in the Z direction of 50 pounds, so negative 50, and I've selected Z is my direction for that. Alright, it shows that, looks like we're ready to run our analysis run simulation. Alright, so this is a very simple problem. It would be very easy to confirm uh, the appropriateness of your answer using beam theory. Alright, now we're getting our von Mises stress uh, maximum of about 7.3 KSI. Question is, are these results good? Well, what I'm going to first of all do is take off the smoothie and it looks like the results are pretty smooth here let's get an estimate of the precision von Mises precision we'll click on that this is a really really good model actually our von Mises precision is at less than 0.05 this is excellent model I don't see any need to remesh